again, looking at your dilemmas, as you know from the last episode, if you watch properly, huh? Yeah, you. I'm filming th these last two episodes back to back. So, yeah, this is why I'm still looking fresh to death and looking beautiful. Uh, and why I haven't changed my clothes in a week. Th that's why. Um, but yeah, just thought we'd continue kind of where we left off with some of your dilemmas. I can't lie, the last time it just it gave me a bit of a headache. So that's why you got to remember to drink your agua. I would, do you know how cold it would have been if, if this was like a, um, what's the word? A brand deal. <laughs> mm -mm. No. And I do get asked this question a lot, you know, before we kick things off. Like, have I received brand deals or offers and things like that? The biggest brand deal I think I've ever received, I'm not going to say how much it was. It was for a Feet Finder app. And the, cra the craziest thing was... I thought about it heavily because, you know, I've actually got really nice feet. I've got size nines on me, but they look like eights. And some shoes is eight, some some shoes is like eight and a half, nine. Um, but they're quite dainty. They're quite like, you know, they have like a little personality of their own. And my left one is, is right character. And my right one's a little bit promiscuous. So I thought, you know, I genuinely thought about doing it. But then I thought, I have Indian parents. And they're not like, you know, they're not from India. So they're, they're quite, they're quite modern. Um, and, and they're born here. But I remember saying to my mum, on Christmas Day it was, I remember saying to her like, oh mum, like, you'll never guess. Um, someone tried to pimp out your little boy's piggies online. And you know the first thing she said? Because I was barefoot at the time. She looked at my feet and she was like, you should do it. Amen. Like, they call me Amen at home, all right? It's my little, my little home name. She's like, Amen, you... That's income. She's trying to she's trying to get herself a mulberry bag, and she was like, "I'm gonna knock it." Like, how many pictures do you think would equate to a mulberry bag? Do you want me to take pictures? I can take pictures. Like, your dad's a photographer. My, my dad was I was a photographer. He still got some some camera clicking skills. And she was like, "Yeah, your dad can can take pictures." You know, I she my mum works in bank. Like, I can sort out the financial side. And then my brother knows all about kind of like cosmetics. Like, yeah. I'll, he don't speak like that. He was like, yeah, I'll, I'll, um, I'll get some makeup on the piggies. Make sure everything's sorted. Get the epilator out. My mom tried to pimp my feet out. Could you imagine that? Like, genuinely, Christmas Day, I'm telling her, oh, um, this weird brand, like, con connected with me and said, oh, do you want to sell feet pics online and we'll, we'll do, we'll, like, pay you a fee and all this kind of stuff. And my mum's first thing wasn't about, oh, let's prevent my son from being ostituted on the internet. You know, let's make sure that, you know, he's still got a professional life. Let's ensure that everything still kind of works fine. She was like, yeah. My mum basically said, no face, no case, and I'll back it, you know. I should have done it. I might still do it now. Shout me. But yeah, that that's I just thought I'd bring that up. But um, but yeah, you you kind of why am I here? Because you asked me some. You... <sighs> breathe, breathe, breathe. There we go. You've asked me some. F I hate my life, you know. Because you know, I said about this show, I was like, oh, all of it's going to be unedited. None of it's going to be edited. No matter how stupid I look. No matter how dumb I look. I will keep it all unedited. And this is just going in now. Screw it, you know. We might as well just chat in it. I'm not even chatting to you directly. I'm chatting to no one. I'm just having therapy on my own. I'll pretend you're there. How are you? You good? Nice. I hope you're well. Um, how am I? Yeah, my lips were very chapped today. I have to say it was quite cold in London. So I was doing, I was doing that a lot. And I realised, you know, as a brown man, I have to really, you know, focus on who I'm licking my lips at. Do you know what I mean? I can't just like lose sight of where I am in the world and then just start licking my lips randomly on the tube. That's how you end up in the Daily Mail. And I do think like there's certain things as a brown man that I can't do without looking suspicious. I can't like have a massive backpack anywhere. I can't like, oh, uh, like my headphones drop and then I can't have any form of technology dropping around me and me panicking. I can't accidentally leave anything anywhere because, you know, kaboom. So it's sad, man. You know, I'm just one of I'm just one of the guys. I'm I'm not trying to hurt no one. I just forget things. That's all. I suppose that's what they said, isn't it? But yeah. So um, you asked me for some of your dilemmas. That's what I'm trying to get at. So you asked me for some dilemmas, and we're gonna go through some of your braziest ones. And um, we ended just before I got to this one, and I've had to think about it since. Uh, so this is from Happy underscore Fool. Love that. Um, what if I like a guy that's two years older than me? That's all right. But he has a girlfriend. That's not all right. So you got the happy bit because you like him and the fool is you. You are a fool. 
What do you mean he has a... <sighs> don't be a home wrecker. How they come is how they go. And don't spell come weirdly, right? Because I know you're thinking about it, naughty, naughty. Because I, I say this, but if, if you have to acquire your mate, right? It's like the animal kingdom. They're gonna most likely going to be acquired by somebody else. If you attract them, you have to all of a sudden become unattractive or they have to be attracted to somebody else, which is a lot harder. Acquisition is easy. It's just purchasing. So, no. I'm telling you now, happy fool. Stay happy. Don't be a fool. Don't care if he's two years older than you. He has a, he has a girlfriend and he's two years older. And it depends on where it is. Because if it's like 17 to 19, then you've got a bit of a case. On, no, 15 to 17, sorry. Then you've got a bit of a case on your hands in the UK, haven't you? But how mad is it that it doesn't apparently... I didn't even know this. Honestly, I didn't know this till recently that there are different ages are responsible for different things around the world. So I knew in the in the US you had to be 21 to drink, whereas in the UK it's 18. Um, but you can 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 get frisky and have kids at like is it 16 or something? Yeah, because I think it's like in the UK you you can get frisky. You can have you can bring life into the world in the UK when you're 16. I think, but you have to wait two more years to buy Call of Duty. So you can literally bring a you into this world and, you know, raise it, them, however you have to, but you can't snipe anyone on Black Ops. How stupid that is. And it, again, it's like, it's, there's different, like, oh, it's going to sound horrible. And I've been watching too much Law and Order, but like the age of consent is different for, for loads of different countries. I honestly did not know that until recently, and that scares the hell out of me. I don't want kids, man. Like, I would love to, but just that, I'm like, you ain't going on holiday until you're 84. I ain't having anything happen. I've seen Taken. Not happening, sorry. But, um, yeah, this next one is from Mia underscore Blink. Now, Mia was in the last episode, uh, the one before this whole Dilemmas one, where she was talking about, I think the story goes that her, I think... Her sister was dating someone, broke up with him, and then got together with her, and she, she being the older sister, I believe, and they realised that the guy they were dating was AI. I don't know either. But she's back, and she says, a guy likes me, but his sister prefers his ex. Okay, so what you're saying is you are trying to get with this guy, or a guy likes you, but he's already introduced a potential mate. I need to stop saying mate, a uh, female, that's worse, a, a woman, speak, uh, trying to, he introduced a woman to his family, and they've all met, so, do you know what it is, I've always thought, every, each to their own, but me personally, I can't introduce multiple women to my family, like, it's not an all-you-can-eat buffet, I have to, like, in Indian families in particular, like, you introduce someone to your family, to your mum and dad, that's it, that's marriage now. You, there's no kind of going back from that. It's not like you can just erase. This isn't back to the future. You can't just get the flux capacitor out and just be like, yeah, let's go back to 1885 and hang someone. It's like you have to just, you know, deal with the cards you're given. So you have to make sure it's the right choice. So, and I kind of, I can't, some people might hear that and be like, well, that's like things change and all this stuff. Of course things change. And, and if it comes to that, you can explain it. But it kind of shows that there's a level of commitment there and it moves forward. So I'm not too big on the whole like you know everyone can do whatever the hell they want to do really I don't care but it's like me personally it's 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 I, I wouldn't I'd feel weird just having loads of people meet my mum and dad and then for them as well I I as a parent wouldn't want you know to just keep on meeting everyone just because there's it's just so much hassle so that's what I think about that but straight away you are barking up the wrong tree I reckon Mia because it doesn't matter if he likes you the sister press ex is he sounds like the kind of guy who just slings it. I'll be honest. He he's there just <laughs> and you've been caught in the net, my love. So so yeah, I'm sorry, you yeah, you shouldn't shouldn't go there. Um this is from official Vonvo. Four words that tell me more about your life than I need to know. I have no kitchen. Do you know what? This is probably just down to circumstance and probably just where you are, but I would just say just keep keep on trucking, fella. Do you know why? Because I lived somewhere once where I had no shower and I had no freezer and the oven blew up on the last day that I was there. And I remember having... Well, when I say I had no shower, what I mean was like they... The people who I lived with just used up all the hot water. So I had water. I didn't have a shower. There is a difference. I had a tap. 
basic. I had a mop and I had to go to the gym uh, every single time I wanted to shower. And and in, in a way it was kind of helpful because I would I was all I was going to the gym for hygiene. So I kind of inevitably would be like, oh, let's just whack a session in. <laughs> but realistically, all I did was just shower. And it was just like, really, when I when I freshly shower, the last thing I want is other people around me. And there's people in gym changing rooms here. I don't know why the gym does this. Probably because you're hopped up on all this testosterone and serotonin and you just, after just a bit of a pump on, and you just think, oh, I'm just going to sling my wang about. The amount of old peni I've seen at the gym, I didn't think it could look like that. It looks like something Ivan Ooze would have hit the Power Rangers with. And I just, I look at it and I think that's going to be me. I'm going to have that problem. I'm going to have Play-Doh between my legs and there's nothing I can do about it. And I saw so many, man. There were all shapes, all sizes, all colours. <sighs> yeah, man, there was a lot. But but yeah, I would just say that's just circumstance and, you know, we, we, we move on in life. And so I would just say keep on trucking, fella. You'll be fine. Uh, this is, uh, what's the name? I've lost the name there. From vaguely underscore kirikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikikik
I've always said when I'm married and all that stuff, it's like, I will still have my life. They will still have theirs. We will have ours. It's like, they're not going to now turn into a morphed version of me and vice versa. I'm going to have my interests. I'm going to do what I want to do. And I'm not going to check in all the time. I haven't got time to be on my phone constantly and be like, oh yeah, I'm just out with this person. I'm out here. It's like, I'll tell you at the beginning of the day, here are my plans. Here's when I expect to be back. If it, things are going late or things are whatever, then I'll tell you, but I'm not going to be actively like, oh, we just went to this pub now. Oh, I ate some chips. Oh, I ate a burger. Grow up, man. This ain't big brother. Live your life. Make sure as long as you're safe and you're communicating what needs to be communicated, you're fine. Otherwise, you'll get into issues like this. That's what I say. Oh, I feel helpful. Um, this is from 16 underscore IDGAF. If you're 16 years old, I don't... I hope not because it says, I was a side chick, but I fell in love and the girl found out. That is the definition of a you problem. There's nothing I can do about that. Do you know what it is? Like you, so you, you knew you were the side chick. So from what I'm gauging from that, you knew you were the side chick and just kind of let it run. And that's fine because again, every situation is different. I don't care. It's not fine if you're 16. I need to know how old you are. I'm gonna, this is only if you're 30 plus, I don't care anymore, I'm, I'm discussing the parameters, I'm keeping it wide, I don't care, but if you're of age, and you're a side chick, and you fell in love, and they found out, it's like, well, that is the risk you run, isn't it, that's basically like saying, I stole a car, and I got caught by the police, that's essentially what's happened, you stole the car, now you're gonna have to deal with it, and whether it's a case of you thinking that he's gonna leave you for, leave her for you, or, or any of this stuff, you knew you were the side chick to begin with, and I don't remember the last time that I was at Nando's and I moved the, the chips to the middle and put the chicken on the side. I'll be real. Oh, that was mean. I'm sorry. But that, that's what I oh, that's what I think. I genuinely just think like if you know that that's what it's about, then I think you've just got to you've got to embrace that. And again, it comes down to being honest about where you're at in life and how you actually feel about things. Because when you fell in love, does, does anyone actually know that? Does he know that? Does she know that? I don't think it would change anything for her, obviously, because it shouldn't. But he needs to know all these things. So I would say, tell him if he doesn't know, but be prepared for every outcome is what I would say. Um, then we've got, uh, what's this one then? Little Boardwalk Angel says, my dad died. And, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, wait, let me read the rest of this. My dad died and left me his dog. I see. It's so ugly, it hurts my feelings. Oh, that went so far left. I don't even know how to be right. So the dogs, so you're not a fan of the dog. The dog's ugly. What what kind of dog is it? I Because I want to be fair because I, like my, my personal kind of preference, I've never, I've, I've kind of grown to like smaller dogs a little bit, but it's, it was never my choice. I don't like Chihuahuas or, um, you know, I've seen the odd pom here and there. I don't mind a some small little chow or like a poodle. I don't mind it, but it's like those little nappy ones I, I'm not a big fan of. It, I have to grow to like them. I can't just love them straight away. But if you throw a Labrador at me or a, like a Golden Retriever or a, um, Aus, Australian Shepherd or a Bernese Mountain Dog, I'm falling in love with it straight away. So I kind of get what you're saying, but it, if it's your dad's dying wish for you to take care of the dog, hold it, man. And like the dogs probably ain't got that long anyway. <laughs> No, just, just have, just hold the, be nice, okay, just be nice to the dog, because dogs, in general, are just the best animal in the world, it doesn't care, big, small, whatever, they will love you until they're dying breath, and there's nothing more precious in this world than something that loves you unconditionally, and dogs do, no matter what, so suck it up, take care of the dog, and that's where I'm gonna end, so thank you very much for watching, I feel like um, I've gone through stages of grief, to be fair, in the last couple of episodes, but I really enjoyed it, and let me know if you've enjoyed it as well, because we're on episode 9, we're up to episode 10, I would love to hit, like, we're on about 1,700, 1,800 subscribers, I would love to hit 2,000 by that episode, and just, and you know what the best thing about YouTube, it's actually free, and all you have to do is flex your thumb, and it makes me happy, and then if millions of you flex your thumb, not only will it make me happy, but I'll plant trees, because, like, I'll be the king of philanthropy, so... If you want me to plant some trees and give some oxygen in the world, subscribe and like the video because algorithms and that and consider spending your downtime with me. 
And if you're on Spotify, follow as well and give me five stars just because I'm a beautiful human being. Thank you very much.